All right, now we're going to cut relief V notches in the nose, anywhere where there's a corner, a sharp corner, nose, the corners of the tail here on a swallow tail. We have a video for that on, uh, you know, doing the swallow tail. There's a couple corners in that. And um, what, what that does is re reduces the amount of overlapping fiberglass that you have to sand down. So we're trying to eliminate sanding as much as possible. The less you touch the board, the better it turns out. So we remove the fiberglass and then it overlaps and you only have a little bit to sand. Um, and how we do that, start with the nose. So what I do is I put my shears under my arm and I take one side and I fold it under and then the other side You want to keep tension on it, make sure the glass is connected to the board the whole time. And just come over here and fold it and then crease it. Just put some pressure on that overlap, crease it, let go, and that'll tell you where to cut. There's a V-notch right there. All right, here it is again from another view. We're just going to fold it under, keep tension on it, take this glass, fold this under, give it a little crease, let it go. You see right there, angle this way, straight up to the nose and an angle. So that'll reduce, that's called the V-notch. How we cut it is we'll just put our, the tip of our shears right on the nose, right on that line. Slice up. And then put our shears, come through the glass so they're popping out the other side. Make sure we cut everything in one swipe. Boom. Okay, do the same thing for the tail around the squash. Just move the glass around, make it tight. Put a crease. I'm going to put the shears like right a little bit below the bottom of the board. Find that line. And then we have our angle here. I'm going to go past it. There you go. Other corner. I like to put my hand underneath the shear blade to hold it steady. Boom. There you go. So while we're here, next step is to pull off any strands. See that little guy right there? When you squeegee it, he's going to he's going to pull off and onto the board. So any short strands just pull off. And we're going to go around the perimeter usually in the middle. Uh at the wide point of the board, there's usually a few of these you can pull out. And uh that'll help you have less strings when we laminate. If you pick one like that, that's, that's going to pull all the way across too much, just snip it. But just focus on ones that are at the very end that have edges, uh, two edges you can see. They're going to be short, but that looks good. You see around here, it's a little bigger. So you can do just a single straight cut in, in those areas. And the less cutting is better, but sometimes you don't want to screw around too much with the glass. So I'm just going to relieve them right there and right here. I just chose points kind of where 
I feel they would have bunched up more. So now I'm just going to have one flap come out over. This will all stretch out. This will come up, overlap it, and we'll just sand that. But we won't have a bubble because it could bubble, pull out, and bubble. And you have an air bubble in there you don't want. Okay.